Hello! I get a new skin. <laughs> so I've been wanting to get a new skin for a big while now. I've actually never really liked my old one. I just thought it was too pixelated. From top to bottom, the whole skin was just one giant pixelated mess. So because of that, I've decided to completely redesign my outfit and give it a more simplistic look. So this will be me going forward in 2024, all new, clean and fresh. But today, we're gonna talk about free Minecraft server hosting companies. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you probably know that I'm not the biggest fan of them. Mostly because all of these companies come with massive restrictions, like no access to your own files, a limited playtime, and a crazy ton of advertisements. That is why, if you can afford it, I would always recommend hosting a Minecraft server at a paid hosting company, like for example Alienhost, who has been a channel partner for a big while now. And if you want to check them out, I will leave a link down below, as well as a promo code so you can get 20% off. But I do also totally realize that for some people, a paid host is just not an option and because of that i've done some research and today i will be presenting what i think are the three best places to host a minecraft server without paying anything make sure to subscribe if you've not done so yet now the first one on this list is probably the most controversial as well some people absolutely love Aetronos and others hate it but Aetronos is the most well-known free minecraft server hosting company out there and because it is so well known and so frequently used it also has its own benefits so overall on Aetronos you do get quite a lot of cool features you can host a minecraft server for both java and bedrock edition it even supports arc light which i recently made a video on and allows you to run both mods and plugins on the same server so that's pretty cool it also gives you unlimited player slots though you can probably not use that many as atronos doesn't come with that much ram now when looking up the server ram of atronos they basically say that for a vanilla server you will get two gigabytes but it all depends on the type of server you're running so different types of servers will require different types of ram by reading that I will assume that a modded Minecraft server has more RAM than a vanilla one. Though, I have no clue if this is actually the case. Now, one of the downsides from Aetronos is that their hardware is not the best. Take this console as an example. I just booted up a server, it is trying to prepare a spawn area, and it takes a crazy long time. Like, it has been stuck at 37% for, for so incredibly long. It's only now it is starting to go to 100. But I think the two biggest downsides of Aetronos are the shutdown timer and the file system. So what is the shutdown timer? If nobody is online on your Aetronos server, it will shut down within about five and a half minutes. And you will have to go back to your dashboard to actually turn it on again. Now that is of course a huge downside if you want to make your Minecraft server somewhat public. Because either you will always need a person online or you will need to boot up the server every single time a player wants to join. Which of course doesn't really make it public. And the second biggest downside is the file system. You're not able to upload anything. Which means if you want to play a custom map or upload custom plugins, you cannot. If you want to install plugins on your Aetronas server, you will need to do it through this plugins tab on the left of your screen. And looking for plugins over here is awful. <laughs> I've literally made a full video on this channel talking about how awful this search system is. But as soon as you know how it works, it is doable and you can install free plugins plugins. Though getting any paid plugins on is unfortunately not possible. Another big downside of Aetronos is this. Now of course Aetronos earns from ads. That's the only reason they are able to exist. So I totally get that they don't want you to use an ad blocker because that way they can't earn anything from you. The thing is though I'm not using an ad blocker right now. For some reason even if I turn off my ad blocker I will still get this notification. And if I then grab another browser that has never had an ad blocker installed at all and i try to go to atronos again i will still get this pop-up so even when i'm allowing atronos to show me ads they just can't get it working <laughs> i don't know why but it is really annoying because every single time I go to another page, I will get this pop-up now. If this company ever stops existing, it is not because they don't earn enough from ads. It's because their ad system is so awful that they can't show ads. 
<laughs> so next on the list, we got gaming for free. Now, I'd actually never heard about this free hosting company before someone recommended it to me. But from what I've seen, it is a pretty solid option. So unlike Atronos, on gaming for free, you actually have full file access, meaning that you can upload anything you want. What's also pretty cool is that they're also offering servers for a couple of other games. So Terraria, Project Zomboid and Factorio are also games you can make a server for, without paying anything of course. So that's pretty cool if you like playing one of these games. Now over here, we immediately see one of the biggest downsides of gaming for free. After you do not renew your server for a couple of days, they want to terminate it aka delete everything. Now don't let that scare you off immediately, but it's for sure something you should keep in mind. So let me show how it works. I'm just gonna click here and that way I'm renewing my server for I believe one and a half hours. So yes, here on my console you can see your free server will be suspended in one and a half hours. Meaning that I can now start the server, I can run the server and it will stay online for one and a half hours. Even if not a single player is inside of your server. So that is pretty cool. That is something that Aetronauts doesn't have. Now every 5 minutes you will be able to press on this button. And you can add an additional 1.5 hours to this timer. Now this timer can go up all the way to 12 hours. And that's also where immediately the biggest problem comes in. After 12 hours it will shut down. And if you, after that, not renew it for a couple of days, your whole server will be terminated, deleted and it will be gone. So you do need to log in frequently to press on that button. For the rest, the RAM seems to be the same as on Atronos, so 2 gigabytes. But something that concerns me a little bit is the fact that the CPU is already overloading. And just to remind you, there's not a single player online right now. <laughs> it even states here that the hardware this server is running on is significantly weaker than their paid servers. You do actually have access to all of your files and you will even be able to upload files. So in case you want to make a server with some custom or paid plugins, then that is actually something you can do on gaming for free. Ah, look, there we go. I'm gonna click on add 90 minutes. Now I got three more hours to go. And then last but not least, probably the best place to host a free Minecraft server is Magma Note. Now Magma Note also doesn't come with the best hardware. It doesn't come with the most RAM. But from what I can see, this server will not go offline after a while. Meaning that I don't see any indication this is not a 24 seven free server host. So we got one and a half CPU core, two gigabytes of RAM and we have 5 gigabytes of storage, just like the other two providers. Now from this menu here, there's not a whole lot you can do, but when you go to file editor, it will actually take you to Paradactyl and this is where you pretty much have access to anything. So you got your console over here, we got file access, you can even create a database doesn't work. Okay, no databases. <laughs> but we might be able to create a backup, so let's try that. Ooh, it does actually work. Okay, you can make a backup. That's pretty cool. Can we make a second port? No, we cannot. That's unfortunate. So things like having a second port for Geyser MC or for a plugin like, for example, Dynemap, that doesn't work. But what is very good news is that so far, I've still not found any indication that this server will go offline by itself. It seems to truly be 24-7. Oh, wait, what is my SQL? We can actually create a MySQL database. Oh, that is so interesting. So for some reason, you can't do it on the Paradactyl panel. But if you're on the panel on the Magma Note website itself, you will be able to create a database. It also seems like we can install some popular mod packs from here. For example, Aralcraft or Pixelmon. So if you want a free 24-7 online Minecraft server, then Magma Note for sure seems like the best option. And that is gonna be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out by doing that. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!